is my week four progress report and I'm pleased to say that this week I do have a bit of progress to report. Uh, so I've had quite a busy week which has meant I've not had actually much time to sort of think about the calf very much um, and actually not do as much rehab and things. Um, but actually it has perhaps allowed it to settle a little bit more than, than it would have done otherwise. Um, yeah I know that sounds a bit sort of I don't know, counterintuitive because obviously it's good to do rehab and do all the stretching and that kind of thing but uh, yeah at the same time I don't know sometimes you can overdo it it was one of those things like what do you do um so anyway it meant that this weekend uh I yeah it was I was just not thinking about the calf at all it, you know when you sort of just feel almost like you're back to normal um but I did still do my litmus tests so basically if, if I can't hop on one leg basically then I won't try and run because you know effectively when you're running you're hopping from like one leg to the other so um, if I can do 30 seconds of hopping with no pain then that to me says that yeah it, it could be ready to test so I, I passed that test doing one legged we have was also fine and uh, I did a bit of work on the stepper as well without using hands so that's like the, the machine in the gym where you just sort of step your feet up and down and there was nothing there so I had high hopes when I then moved over to the treadmill for what I'd planned to be 10 by a minute on a minute off that uh, yeah it'd just be all plain sailing um, but uh, yeah it wasn't quite like that I uh, did one one minute and right just a little little niggle so I just had a bit of a stretch and then I did another minute and it wasn't getting any worse so great another little stretch in between um third a little bit worse fourth a little bit worse again so yeah I basically only ended up doing four by a minute on at like eight kilometers per hour so it's just yeah it's not anywhere near where I want to be but I'm choosing to just look at the positives because like this time last week there's no way I would have been able to do the hopping um, and yeah you know I think I'm nearly there and I think perhaps partly what I've, where I've been going a little bit wrong is that uh, I think I mentioned quite a few times before about you know just trying to get to the root of the problem that it's coming from a bit of sciatica and a bit of pain in the hip actually that's another positive running this time hasn't stirred up the sciatica so uh, again, I've just got to focus on that. So yeah, as I say, I've been addressing the root and then not really paying attention to the calf very much where I'm getting the pain. And so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to perhaps get, get a bit more treatment on that this week. And um, in fact, even just sort of feeling down into my calves myself, uh, you know, I can tell that there is a difference from one side to the other. So yeah, I've just not got to forget about treating the problem area. <laughs> Um, yeah, so uh, those are the main things I've learned. Oh, yeah, I was going to say about how um, I could have carried on on the treadmill today and, you know, just so I could like have made my goal of doing the session of 10 by a minute on a minute off. But, you know, it would have been pointless because I just, just set myself back further. So I really want to get across is that actually sometimes it is the braver thing is to just stop. Uh, and I know it's hard because you sort of you get your hopes up and you just you just want to be able to do what you want to be able to do and um, you can't often do that as when you want to do it. So uh, yeah, just just don't get too hit up about goals and that kind of thing just go with what your body is allowing you to do uh, and just be a bit sensible and a bit calculating about it in fact there's a lady who came to my running group on Saturday and I could see she was visibly limping and uh, I've only ever done this once before but it's partially as a result of doing these videos and just being a bit more sensible myself um, I just said to her look you know you're not doing yourself any favors by limping while you're running like you know you're not going to be able to run through it just just do the sensible thing you know go and just walk back to the, the car park uh you go to the gym and do a bit of cross training you know you can always do something different but um don't try and make yourself feel better by just 
running so that you know you can say that you run to yourself when actually you're just giving yourself rest. So very logical, I know, but we're not always logical, are we, when it comes to uh, to running? Um, yeah. Uh, so lessons, as I say, um, be well, be calculating in in your approach to running. As I mentioned, I do that that sort of litmus test where if I can hop, um, if I can do my rehab um, pain free, and um, you know just doing some sort of cross training pain free as well, then. I'll, I'll give it a go and then it's no guarantees. Um, I'm actually going to read you just a quick little bit out of this book on that note. Um, it's a book that a friend uh, bought me for Christmas called The Daily Stoic and uh, yeah it was actually yesterday's reading that, that relates to this quite well. Um, and it says we are, def oh it, it, it likens any sort of problem in situations to like uh, adverse weather. So um, it says, we're defenceless against a hurricane only if we refuse uh, to prepare or heed the warnings. So basically, we, we know these days that a hurricane's coming because of weather forecasts and things. So, you know, when you're injured, you are likely to have problems when you get back, um, unless you're calculating about it. Uh, so it says, if we don't have a plan, if we never learned how to put up the storm windows, we'll, we will be at the mercy of these external elements. So, do you rehab? But we have the advantage of being able to prepare. Um, so, yeah, you know, you, as I say, you might sort of think that you're suddenly better, you get your hopes up and then you're just dashed again. So, yeah, just be um and focus on the good and to say i couldn't do a 10 by a minute on a minute off which yeah, is pretty pathetic but there's a lot of good things that i can take from this week you know i've not sent myself back and i yeah, i'm really getting there you know i'm not getting the sciatica and i'm feeling strong on the rehab and it's generally pain free uh so just keep on keeping on i guess is the final thing you know i could sort of say oh the rehab's not worked it has, it's just not quite there yet. It's just, you know, you've just got to keep the faith and keep going. So, uh, is that it? Hope it's been useful. And uh, any feedback, welcome. And um, yeah, we'll see if, uh, if next week I can do a run. Uh, but have a good week here, and take care. Bye bye. I'm back. Uh, I've just thought of something to add, uh, even though I've just been to the bathroom and washed my makeup off. But, uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> Um, so uh, it's yeah, the hurricane analogy, as, as well as relating that to um, getting back from injury, I was thinking that it can be related to when you are running healthily, because as a runner, the chances are that you are going to get injured. But in knowing that, we should therefore prepare and take steps to avoid that. So, you know, along those lines, it's, it's things like uh, doing some strengthening around the running training as well body maintenance, uh, seeing a masseur, you know, getting a, a physio MOT every so often as well. Um, so yeah, just, just planning for the storm. Um, so prehab is often um, a term that, that's used. Um, then you're much more likely to run consistently. And the more that you do run consistently, the more robust you can become. And therefore, the less likely again you are to get injured. Uh, so, Prepare for the storm. Oh.